Hi everyone, how are you? It's Leah Koss with the Mortgage Center. I don't know if this is picking up in the video, but I've got the sliding door open and we've got crazy amount of frogs outside our place. So try to ignore them if you can hear uh, frogs chirping and my dog growling at miscellaneous things outside. Uh, but I wanted to talk to you about down payments because with all these new rules, there are a lot of rumors going around that uh, the down payment has changed 10% or 20% or 15%. There's all these different rumors going around um, because if you didn't know, April 9th as well as April 19th are two very big days in the mortgage industry. Rules are changing as of the 9th with mortgage insurers. And then on the 19th, uh, the government mandated new rules are coming out. So wanted to go over all of the different situations um, that you could possibly encounter and what those down payment amounts are. So when it comes to a regular owner-occupied place, even if it's an owner-occupied place with a basement suite, those are still just 5% down. Nothing has changed there. It's not 10% or anything like that. It is 5% down. Now, one aspect that has uh, changed when it comes to an owner-occupied thing is only for people who are self-employed and only, as well, if they are doing the stated income programs that there are out there. If you're curious what the stated income programs are, just refer to my blog. It'll tell you some more about those. But only if you are doing the self-employed stated income program is your down payment going to be 10%. Okay? Other than that, any other owner-occupied is still just 5%. All right, now if you're buying a second home owner occupied, so this means like a vacation home, or perhaps you live out in the country and you've got a condo in the city to make it easier for going to work, those are also 5% down because they're second homes owner occupied. The only time that you're looking at a different down payment is if it's a rental or investment property. This means it is a home that you are not living in and you're renting out the home or the suites. Uh, those in those cases are 20% down. Okay, so that's really the only percentages that need to be thrown out there. You've got 5% down for anything that's owner occupied, even if it's a second home. 20% down for any rental or investment properties and only if you're using the self-employed stated income program for an owner-occupied home is it a 10% down. Alright, so hopefully that'll clear you up. If you have any questions at all, as always, give me a call. Uh, you can also email me. My contact info is on the site and uh, any questions, I'm always happy to help. Thanks so much.